Okay, Solar versus Striz. So those are the two leading brands of jet tunneled inflatable boats and people have lots of questions. What's the difference between a Solar and a Striz? So here we have a uh, Striz 420 and a Solar 420. A little bit different, top tubes, no top tubes, but um, yeah, this will give you a good representation of the two brands of uh, jet tunneled inflatables. So both these boats are made in Russia by uh, two different organizations or uh, companies. So yeah, we're gonna have a look today at the key features of each of these boats and the pros and cons. So you, me personally, I do own both these boats. I own a uh, 480 Striz and a 420 Solar and uh, I like them both. So just right from the top, they're both good boats. I think uh, if you do get one of these boats, you'll be happy with it. But for me personally, they kind of have two different purposes. So uh, in this video, yeah, let's get into it and we'll start looking at the differences between uh, the two uh, the two boats. Another thing that everyone seems to be obsessed with is the speed of the boat. You know, with the same motor, whether it's a 25, a 30, a 40, a 50, 60, how fast can that boat go, you know, on a level uh, kind of playing field? And definitely the Solar is a faster boat. I think uh, some of that has to do with the weight, just being a lighter boat, it's gonna get on step and it is gonna go faster. Um, I think the tunnel design and the floor design is a little bit different and uh, that actually gets you a little bit more speed than the Striz boat. So if you're looking for pure speed in your boat and uh, powering it with less horsepower, then maybe the Solar is the boat for you. It'll definitely go faster. We've had uh, the same motor on a Solar and a Striz, both 420s. And they, I would guess, I don't know the exact numbers, probably in the five to six kilometer an hour range for top speed with a Tahatsu 50. So that would be the difference. So if speed's your main factor, then maybe the Solar is the boat for you. So the next thing we're gonna look at is running skinny. So which boat can run skinnier water? You know, everyone's obsessed as well with how shallow can that boat run? And uh, I've been out with people that run Solars, that run Strizzes. I run my Solar, I run my Striz. And to be honest, I think it's debatable. And I think they're actually very, very close. I've seen uh, two, uh, one Solar, one Striz go through skinny little, you know, one, two inches. Both of them make it through without the motor popping up. So in the category of which boat runs skinnier, I think they both are uh, about the same. So it would be a tie between the two. If you're just looking to run skinny water, then I think you'd be happy with either one of these boats. They both run very, very shallow, and uh, that's attributable to the, the jet tunneled uh, inflatable. Having that tunnel in there, an inflatable boat, um, you know, allows you to run in, you know, one to three inches of water, uh, no problem with these boats. So, yeah, that's uh, running uh, skinny. Okay, yeah. Let's look at the sturdiness, how uh, well built these boats are. And uh, when you do look at them, my first impression is, wow, look at this Striz. It looks pretty sturdy. So I think in my opinion, it, it just does look a little better well built. It looks like, I don't know, everything's rough and tough on it. And uh, it has six tubes. You know, if you pop a tube, you're down to five tubes. I don't think there's gonna be any issue at all. You can run with five tubes back down the river. Maybe you can go with four or three tubes, who knows? So as far as uh, how sturdy the boats are, I mean, they're both well built boats, but I think uh, in my impression in owning both, the Striz just seems a bit uh, sturdier, uh, maybe with that extra weight and that, I don't know, but it, it, it just seems like, yeah, it's more of a, a well-built boat. So um, yeah, in the category of sturdiness, if that's what you're looking for, I would uh, probably go with the, uh, with the Striz. In this category, let's talk about the floor. So um, two different floors in these boats. The, uh, the Striz has a wooden floor, which adds to some of that extra weight. The Solar has an inflatable floor that you pump up to about five pounds PSI. Um, which is nice, keeps it light. But if you're just looking for durability of a floor, hands down to the Striz. It is nice, I find it uh, awesome, you know, if I can stand in the boat, no problem on that wooden floor. I don't have to worry about, um, you know, when I'm guiding people with cork boots coming in on their waders and chewing up the floor on the uh, the Solar, the Striz, it doesn't matter at all. You know, you wanna float down the river and look for fish or just sightsee and that, people can stand up. Um, you know, on that wooden floor, no problem. This one in the uh, solar, you can still stand up, but it is a little bouncier. And, um, you know, you have another, you know, a couple more issues to worry about with the, um, you know, that inflatable floor, making sure it doesn't pop and expand and rip and stuff like that. So if you're just looking for a nice sturdy floor that you can stand up on and, uh, you know, enjoy the boat that way, then definitely go with uh, Striz, you know, has the, uh, the wooden floor. So that's the floor. This category, let's look at the jet tunnel. So they both use different designs to form their jet tunnel. 
The Solar kind of has your more traditional tunnel that you know you might see kind of on an aluminum boat. Um, yeah, it has that you know three inch cutout there that the water comes under the boat, rises in. Your uh, jet shoe sits inside that. And uh, yeah, just kind of uh, what you would expect on any jet boat. The Striz is a bit more uh, unique. It actually uses tubes, two long tubes there on the bottom that are kind of recessed down a bit to form a tunnel. So um, I don't know, I think they're, they're both functional, they both work well, but if I had to decide, I prefer more the traditional tunnel. So, um, you know, I think they, they both allow you to run skinny, um, but I just think, you know, maybe that design of having the traditional tunnel, um, maybe, you know, gets you a bit more speed. I don't know, just in my personal preference, I do like the, uh, the traditional tunnel with the cutout there, as opposed to the top two, um, or the tubes there forming that, uh, that tunnel gap. So yeah, in my opinion, which is debatable, but I do prefer the uh, traditional solar tunnel for a jet tunnel inflatable. Let's talk about transoms. There's some big difference in transoms here between the two boats. Um, the solar one, just your typical transom here. You had a uh, 15 and a half by 15 and a half inch piece of wood on the back, um, bolted in, and there's your uh, transom to put your outboard motor on. You really do have to dial it in that first time to get the height just perfect. I mean, I know so many people who have uh, put their motors on, it's too high, it cavitates, so it is a bit of a pain in the butt um, with the solar transom, and I'm not sure why they haven't put some sort of adjustable transom on there, because for me, that's one of the biggest factors I would like to see on a solar is an adjustable transom. But then Striz, on the other hand, kind of has a semi-adjustable transom where you have eye bolts there, bolt holes, you know, about an inch apart where you can raise and lower that for different motors and then you can add, uh, fill that extra inch with shims. So you really can play around with the Striz uh, transom and have it adjustable. So I love that. I actually have an adjustable Striz transom on my solar um, just for that one purpose. So uh, hands down, I think the, uh, the Striz transom is, uh, is far better than the Solars. It just allows for you know, multiple motors on there. It allows for adjustments, running skinny, you know, moving your pin placement up and down on your motor and adding shims in there. And uh, for me, I just, you know, I wanna get that, uh, that level, that height of the motor dialed in. So in my opinion, uh, hands down to the, uh, the Striz transom, uh, a far better transom. And it, it's also removable. So if you did happen to break or you know, a big bow in your, uh, your transom, you can actually get another transom piece and put it on. If you had to replace the transom on a uh, Solar, that would be a big, big job and probably not for the average person. A professional might be able to do that for you. But um, yeah, so the, the, uh, the transom hands down to the, uh, to the Striz. A, kind of a shameless plug here, if you are looking for an adjustable transom, I do have transoms that you, know, you bolt on, you add your piece of wood on, and you just crank that up with a single bolt, and raises and lowers the height of your transom you know, by you know, a millimeter or you know, a fraction of an inch. Um, so yeah, I mean, for me, I think that's the ideal thing, being able to adjust that transom in very, very small amounts. So an adjustable transom uh, in that sense, which is one bolt in the middle, I think is, is the best of uh, any transom that you could get out there. Let's talk about uh, water in the boat or um, the, the self bailing or the, the drains in the, the bottom of a boat. In this category, I'm always amazed at how much water you can actually bring into a boat. So just by hopping in with your boots and your waders, you know, you might bring a cup or two every time. If it's raining out, you hit a few waves, you have water come up over your transom into the boat, and uh, it is a bit of a hassle. Get stuff wet at the front, you have extra weight. So in this category, the self bailing floor of the Striz, hands down. You can pour as much water as you want in there, it's just gonna leak back out through the transom. There's some gaps in there, and uh, the water will leak right back out into the river, ocean, lake, whatever you're, uh, you're running in. So the floor of the Striz actually sits above the water level. Now with the Solar, they do have a drain plug there that is supposed to, uh, you know, a one-way valve that's supposed to let the water out, but in my opinion, it never works. It never has from day one. And uh, I know people with new boats, they work for a little bit, they get clogged and don't work again. So you have to have a hand pump in my opinion. The water just piles up in there uh, throughout the day when it's raining or if you're getting in and out of your boat. So I do love that feature about the Striz that you can uh, you know, pile as much water as you want in there and you're never gonna get uh, anything wet inside. It's not gonna go rushing to the front of the boat going down a set of rapids or anything. So yeah, as far as uh, the drains go in the boat, the uh, self-bailing floor of the Vistras is uh, a really good uh, feature. Jet boaters seem to be obsessed with weight of their boats. And when we look at both these boats, just by looking at them, you can tell the Striz does look like a heavier boat, which it is. The Solar is a bit lighter. 
The Solar is about, I know my boat when I weigh it, without the top tubes is around 200 pounds, just over 200 pounds, probably 205, 210 with top tubes. The Striz, I'm not sure, we're gonna weigh it one of these days and uh, put it on the scale and just see what it uh, comes out at. But my guess, um, this Striz 420 probably in the, I don't know, 260, 270 range because it has a whole bunch of add-ons and other features that the Solar doesn't. So it's definitely a, uh, a heavier boat. So in uh, the weight category, if you're looking for the lightest boat possible and that's what uh, your decision is made on, then the Solar is probably the boat for you. So let's talk about seats now between the two boats. I mean, you would think, oh, what's the difference? A seat's a seat. Well, essentially the seats are the same in both boats. They both slide along, which is nice. You can adjust the position of them, adjust the weight in your boat. But the Striz has an extra seat. Over the gas container at the back of the boat, you actually, the driver sits on that seat and you still have two more seats above that. So I love that feature. I can put my gas under the seat. It's not in the way. It's not gonna be you know, sliding back and forth in the boat. It just sits under your seat. You even have room for more storage under there. And then you have two more seats above that. So if you're carrying extra people, if two people don't wanna sit beside each other, they want their own seat, you can uh, yeah, have uh, you know, them sit individually on each seat. But you know, the seats are identical, but uh, having that extra seat, that cover over top of the, uh, the gas container allows for the, uh, the three seats there to sit on. I mean, it does add extra weight. So if uh, you know, weight is one of your uh, big issues and that not, might, might not be for you, but um, it is a nice feature to, uh, to have that extra third seat in, uh, in the Striz. So let's talk about D-rings. So both boats you know, do have a lot of D-rings. A lot of people put their own on. Um, there's a, usually a front hook there as well. I know the Solar one really doesn't hold that well and the Striz one as well. So that's a defect I think with both. I'd give them both a thumbs down for the number of uh, D-rings and especially that front hook, that front patch there that you uh, hook onto. A lot of people hook that to their winch on their boat and winch it in and it does start to rip. So there could be a big improvement, uh, design improvement on that. So just watch when you're winching your, uh, your boat onto your trailer, regardless if it's a, a Striz or a Solar, eventually that will rip. You'll crank that enough and you'll start seeing it rip at the edges. So, but um, I think in this, this um, category, it's probably a tie. Um, you know, some boats, some models, depending on what you get, have more D-rings than others and other places to hook stuff in. So, but uh, you know, when you are buying a boat, that might be something you're looking at, just see how many D-rings and hooks and other things that they have on the boat. So yeah, that's. So let's talk about other features. I mean, both boats have a lot of similarities and other features. They both have the poly bottoms, that uh, polyurethane coating on the bottom where you can slide over rocks and gravel and that. So they have that, like I mentioned, they both have the, the D-rings, they both have the sliding seats, they both have lots of accessories and other stuff. I don't know, maybe Striz, I think, might have a few more, I'm not sure, but um, they both have lots of accessories. A lot of them are interchangeable between the two boats as well. So. Um, you know, there's a lot of those things as well that uh, you might see it on one boat but not the other, but it's probably just an option that you can get um, after the fact. So yeah, I think they're very similar in that. They both do sell a lot of different options um, you know, for the boats uh, afterwards after you buy it. Okay. So in summary, this is you know, my opinion, which I'm sure is debatable. Um, you know, we've gone over all the features. So I guess depending on what you want to use the boat for, I have two boats. So I have a Solar and a Striz. So in my opinion, the Solar is more like a uh, kind of like a race car. It's more sleek. It's lighter. It uh, you know we can carry this boat. So if you really want to be able to carry your boat over a gravel bar and uh, you know take the motor off and move it around, take it out of the back of your pickup truck, and two guys carry it, and you want something that's a little bit faster, then uh, yeah, the Solar may be the boat for you. If you want a boat that's more like kind of like a I don't know a a work truck or a pickup truck, then yeah, maybe the Striz. Um, it'll still run skinny, but it has a lot more amenities. You know, it's sturdy, it's got the wood floor, the self bailing floor, the extra seat, and it's a lot more comfortable. So for how I use them, if I'm just going out exploring, you know, especially by myself, um, and I want to go light, I take the Solar. If I think I'm going to be running really skinny, shallow areas and lots of dangling, I take that. If I'm going out guiding or on a tour with a family, um, they want something more comfortable. Maybe your wife or your girlfriend wants something a little bit more comfortable, then the, uh, the Striz might be for you. It has the, uh, you know, the extra seats, the wood floor, the self bailing floor. It just feels like kind of like a nicer ride and more comfortable for a, uh, an outing with your, um, your jet boat. So, that I think in my opinion is the big difference between the two and how I use them. Um, yeah, between the Solar and the Striz. But in my opinion, they're both good boats. If you buy one of these boats, you'll definitely be happy with it and just know the limitations, uh, yeah, when you're gonna buy it. But uh, you'll definitely be happy with, with either one of these.